Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about level control in ASP.NET. So, in my last video, there I discussed about the important estimate tax that to used to in most of the ASP.NET forms. So, suppose if you create at your one new web page and here you can find the web form. So, let's give at your a meaningful name. So, giving the name control now let's click on ok so last video i discussed about what exactly head tags and what exactly run it server and this all those tags so if you like to know so at here you should to learn from this tutorial explaining html tags inside web form page in asp.net now here after i'm going to discuss about to important uh, levels like uh, important uh, controls like level button all those things now here first uh, you find at here so there are three types of modes so at here at this point uh, at here so so see at here control so it's a selected this point this is selected now uh, here you can find this all those things now here after so they have three different types of uh, page uh, so first is source and here next is a split so it's so uh, right now it's a uh, busy so it's split, split mode there and here this is the coding part there you can write sp.net codes write estimate tags at this point and here you can give the designing like you can drag and drop uh, controls now add here in this part so add here you can only uh, do the designing so add here let's go to toolbox and here search so first uh, simplest uh, control is level control so there are lots of different controls add here pointer add rotator so one by one I will discuss so this all controls that are used to build the project now let's uh, learn about first uh, level control so just press L and here you can find level control so if you take the cursor so see here so version 4 point from microsoft corporation.net component now here drag so it's a uh, dragged at here now if you take the also uh, level control it's uh, selected now here the next thing is so at here see this is the document selected so we need to select level now here you can find uh, different uh, categories and here alphabet and here this is about properties and here you can find event so select the event now this is the uh, first uh, uh, beautiful feature of level control is the text now here you can give any meaningful or uh, text uh, at this point so like uh, add here giving ASP.NET project ASP.NET project now here after so when you press add here enter so see the name of text add here has been changed now here after the next is next important tag, tag is add here somewhere you can find uh, ID so see this is the important tag so and here you can give uh, all this or uh, level control or uh, whatever you like uh, the id name so and here let's give at this point so it should be in small letter lbl so this is the id of this level so for every level or uh, it has a unique id it must be unique id now here after the next uh, thing is uh, next uh, other thing like uh, if you want here you can change the background color so here you can take the background so I selected at this point back color or uh, here or uh, just uh, uh, I think pink now here after you can uh, set the border style so add here different border styles are available so whatever you like from here you can do the designing like this uh, you can change at your foreground color so this is the font here now here you can find uh, foreground color so let's give at here okay 
So this is the foreground crop. So uh, at, at this point, you can state the property and do the designing at this at here. Now here after this all or others like here you can set the height and width. So if I give at here or 10 width, so see at here it's changed. Now give the width 10. So see at here it's changed. So uh, it must be suitable size. Let's give at here 100 and 100. So see at here this is the level. Now from here you can or uh, Increase and decrease the level also. So see at here automatically it's a uh, change. Now here after you can uh, see at here uh, when I just do drag at this point. So the size of width and height it's a uh, changing. So see this is the level. So at here the next two thing is here this is uh, this is selected at here at this point or dot. So we need to select the label. So at here, this is the label ID and this is the text property. And uh, there are so many different so properties are available for label. So in my upcoming video, I will discuss. To, so next is event. So at here, you can find uh, different events like uh, init load. So at here, so this uh, all are like uh, text uh, for color id is the important uh, uh, label or property now let's execute and check uh, this thing in the browser so at here it's a selected google chrome so execute that so it's a running so see at here sp.net label or uh, sp.net project so it's a uh, displaying at this point so like that you can use multiple level into the form so only need to drag at this point if you want then here you can control c control v and here or you can drag and drop the level okay different position now here after the next thing is so at this point so it's a selected div that is division and here so this part this all part is the form here this is the part of form inside form there is a div there now here after i'm going to select this level and here let's give uh, so this uh, i'm going to print uh, or text and here so going to print at this point text uh, asp.net project so learning tutorial learning tutorial so the main reason of using uh, a label or control so whatever you write at this point so this will display into the browser so see at here so at here at this point it's changed now it's a learning tutorial and here or uh, it's uh, going to write learning tutorial uh, and here you can uh, write any meaningful text so this time going to write at this point our uh, learning tutorial with so it will uh, change and here table with and here this is the text property i'm going to set at this point so first need to we need to select a label after that you can uh, change the text property with me now pro like this you can change give uh, meaningful or uh, label id so by default it's the level 3 or you can just write lbl so this is the id here or you can change the height and width here also now let's execute and check so see at here in the browser it's the displaying so first level is sp.net learning tutorial with me at here so this is the main reason of using level control so whatever you write the text so it's all displaying into the browser so in my next video, I will discuss more about the level control. So this is the most used control in ASP.NET. And next video, I will discuss others control also. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.